Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and I have easily one of the most exciting, most unbelievable figures here to review that I think I've ever had on my channel. Prepare your eyes for one of the most impressive things you'll probably ever see if you are a dinosaur figure collector, or specifically Jurassic Park collector. This is perfection, if you ask me. Because we have the Siret Tech Chaos Effect Jurassic Park Ultimasaurus. And wow, that is all I can say straight away is just wow. This thing is out of this world incredible. Not just the figure itself, but look at the amazing packaging that we have on this. Like, this is honestly taking custom made figures to another level because this is clearly meant to be the Ultimasaurus, the long lost chaos effect dinosaur that we never actually got released and we now have a release technically thanks to Siret Tech as well as the other people that had worked on this and uh, he has gone ahead and not only created an amazing Ultimasaurus figure but given us the most beautiful box art you'll ever see like this is absolutely perfect when it comes to not only a chaos effect release but basically what the packaging would have probably looked like at the time of this release you know, it just screams Jurassic Park. It screams chaos effect and nostalgia through the roof. If you are a classic Jurassic Park collector, this is immediately just going to make you fall in love with it. I can't help just looking at this packaging, but to, you know, just be so unbelievably impressed. It's honestly almost like a, a crime for me to even mess with it and take it out of the packaging. It looks so good, but it looks as though Siret Tech has kind of created the packaging in a collector-friendly way where it looks as though we should have no problem actually putting it back in the packaging. But as you can see here on the front of the box and the bottom, you can see we've got the attacking jaws and claws, which is really cool. You can see the dinosaur figure itself right over here with a nice shot of the figure as well as obviously showing us what dinosaurs were used to create the Ultimasaurus as we've got a Velociraptor, a T-Rex, a Triceratops, and an Ankylosaurus. We've also got the Siret Tech logo down there in the bottom left hand corner and a massive Chaos Effect logo right up there to the top left and then of course the Ultimasaurus up here on the top right tells us again some information about it and it also states genetically mutated dinos gone bad how awesome is that then if we take a look at the bottom of the box we have more incredible artwork as well as an image there kind of showing off the fact that you can pull off the back plate to reveal dino damage which is again just something that screams classic Jurassic Park to me. Pretty much the same thing going on here on the opposing side of the box, again with imagery of the figure chaos effect line and all of that fun stuff. And you see the same uh, images for both sides and then the same image for the top and bottom. But then here on the back of the box, you can not only again see kind of like a sneak peek of the Ultimasaurus, you also have information on the Chaos Effect line as well as the Ultimasaurus itself, which is super, super cool. Again, the Siret Tech logo there. You can also see additional modeling by Rod's Random Work, who is actually who helped to create the figure. This figure is actually sculpted from scratch by by Siret Tech and uh, of course he actually had some help from Rod's random work again when it comes to sculpting this out as well you can also see the package design was by Andy Harness who has done an incredible job on this really creating honestly the perfect packaging for an Ultimasaurus like it honestly could not get better there's just no way and then you can see the prototype paint and photography was done by Ted Brothers who we all know again if you are a fan of YouTube and the Jurassic collecting community you're definitely going to know who Ted Brothers is. And then down here you can also see on the bottom we've got basically like a sneak peek of other figures that are in the line from the uh, Siret Tech Chaos Effect line. We've got the Triceratops that had released prior but I think the fact that it states coming soon on the bottom of the box means that maybe it's going to get another run at some point soon which would be awesome because I missed out on the first Triceratops so I would definitely love to have a chance to pick that one up but you can see again running along the bottom we actually have the hatchlings that I had painted and reviewed here on the channel you can see we've got the Tanaconda as well as the Comstegnathus and the Paradynonicus there and it also states who sculpted those as well as you 
move along. So that's really cool, again, not only to have those in the line, to have hatchling versions of those dinosaurs, but also to have the figures that I painted on the back of the box. That is absolutely awesome. So now we are at the point where I need to pop this box open and break out our Ultimasaurus. So let's do that right now. So here is the dino damage piece that goes with the dinosaur. Again, the covering for the dino damage piece. And then here is our Ultimasaurus. And that is epic. Let's move the camera up a little bit here just to really bring the dinosaur completely into the screen and show it off to you guys. But wow, like... That is unquestionably one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. It is very few and far between when you can get a figure like this that absolutely blows your mind the way that this is blowing my mind right now. Sirit Tech just completely knocked this, not only out of the park, I would say he knocked this one straight into space because the sculpt looks incredible, the size is super impressive, the entire figure has a very, very high quality feel, the paintwork on it is fantastic, it honestly looks like original paint, like, the, like an original release from a factory, it's that good, it really does look like an original Kenner release. And uh, I know he has taken a little bit of artistic liberties with the figure, like slightly altering the eyes and the claws, I believe. But uh, outside of the very, very minor differences between this and an original Ultimus Source, it honestly looks like the Ultimus Source, like it's the actual figure that never got released. It is that impressive. So all we can do at this point, not only stare at it in awe, but we can jump to a closer look at it and check it out from there. So starting here up at the head sculpt of our Ultimasaurus, look at how gorgeous that is. Like, man, did that ever turn out so good. You can see we've got some nice looking detail throughout, very nice looking sculpt in detail. Again, replicating the Ultimasaurus very beautifully. You've got the nostrils sculpted out here on the tip of the snout. We've also got that kind of beak here running down the front of the snout of the Ultimasaurus, as well as the horns up here on the uh, head again leading up into the frill and all of the paintwork is so precise and so nicely done there are also ears that we can see here for the ultimasaurus you've got the yellow coloration there kind of leading from the eye socket up into the palette and into the snout you've also got a little section of it there underneath a nice black outline for those areas the eyes are painted with a beautiful bluish tone nice black almost slit like pupil there for the eyes you've got a red coloration for the face and then the horns are all painted with a black and then you've also got a black here for the beak as you lead down here into the mouth we do have an articulated jaw which is very very smooth and you can see the sculpting of the teeth looks excellent we've got really nicely sculpted teeth starting quite small there in the back of the mouth increasing in size as you lead out along the you know gum line there and they look really nice they're also painted really nicely we've also got uh, again teeth here for the lower jaw and look at how specific and how precise all of the paintwork is it is just as picture perfect as it honestly gets you have a really nice light tone there for the tongue on the inside of the mouth as well the tongue itself is sculpted quite nicely which you can see in there and you've also got more of that coloration there on the inside of the mouth on the upper side as well as more really really nice looking sculpt in detail up there and again that jaw works really smoothly the entire thing has such a high quality feel like very very impressive how high quality this actually feels but you can of course see that we've got the frill here again one of the aspects of the triceratops part of our ultimasaurus and you can see the rear of the frill also sports some very nice sculpt and detail and then you can see we've got some ridges picking up here running down the spinal column you've also got another row of ridges here running along the side of the neck and then that armored ankylosaurus aspect of our Ultimasaurus there moving down the course of the back a few skin wrinkles back here behind the lower jaw and then as you lead down you can see that the reddish tone disappears as we have a black that separates the red from the gray kind of that separation area right there very nicely applied as well and then we get that classic Ultimasaurus gray tone here as you move down through the course of most of the rest of the body and you can also see again the black picking up here in the back as we have more of that armored area and then you have that really cool kind of design there where the black stripes down and leaks down in almost an eerie sort of a fashion I really like that as well and then as you move down here to the underside first of all 
we can articulate the arms out and they work really really nicely but you can see now that we've opened the arms up we've got a nice view of the chest of the ultimasaurus as well as the fact that we have this really nice yellowish tone yet again it's outlined with that black which is pretty much the theme of the coloration of the ultimasaurus that also looks really nice and again the articulation of the arms works great you can see it moves out away from the body really nicely and kind of like that uh attacking motion as it states on the box and you can also move the arms up and down forward and back all kinds of really nice mobility with the arms super super smooth as far as the articulation of the arms goes and as you move down the arms you can see some very nice muscle tone right there leading down into the hands the hands look very creepy because it's got those really long fingers and then again the really nicely sculpted nails I think we'll have a better chance of really viewing the nails here from the underside they look really cool again super precise paintwork like there is just zero sloppiness on this you can really Really tell Sirit Tech took his time to make sure this turns out as awesome as possible. Then of course we have the dino damage area here on the top of the dinosaur where we basically have the entire top of the dinosaur torn off which exposes the spinal column as well as part of the rib cage and you can see that is sculpted really nicely again painted with absolute perfection just such careful precise paintwork there as you move along the back as you lead down here you can again see more of that striping effect leading down here into the side of the ultimasaurus and then as you move back into the leg you can again see some nice muscle definition there moving down the course of the thigh and then as you move down you've got the JP stamp right there which is just another one of the many reasons why this figure is I think a, a cut above the rest I would say as you continue to move down the course of the body you can see the knee right there nice calf muscle again we have the separation between the gray to the red with a black outline right there and then as you move down into the foot sculpt the foot sculpt looks absolutely awesome really nice detail down here as well really nicely painted and sculpted nails and yes you do have articulated sickle claws which is really cool and you can see if we actually look at actually put that one down you can see how nicely they articulate again incredibly incredibly smooth and they actually go up pretty far and then back down so you've got the kind of slashing claws or attacking claws thing going on there and then you also have the ability to again articulate the legs which is like I said super smooth it's extremely impressive how smooth the articulation is for this figure like when it comes to custom made figures like this this may have some of the smoothest articulation I've ever felt on anything like this like it is extremely impressive but if you look here at the underside you can again see as we move down we can see the yellow disappears right there as you move down a little bit further we've also got the Siret Tech stamp here on the underside showing you again who the genius is that created this amazing figure and then as you move along the back you've got the armored area here moving along the back again really nicely as you lead out the length of the tail you've got a gorgeous curve here as you move out more of that striping leading down with the black into the gray and then that classic Ultimasaurus tail out here as you have the black ending here turning back to the gray and then again transitioning back to the red there for the tip and then the spikes leading out here along the side of the tail and you can get a nice look at what the paintwork and everything looks like here on the underside really beautiful work everywhere like this is unquestionably a dream come true for any collector that wants to get a hold of one of these ultimasaurus and again i'd imagine there's probably a pretty hefty few because it's not like we ever had a chance to actually get one from kenner but again as you move through it looks just as beautiful on this side no real big differences or anything because of course the ultimasaurus is kind of standing in a neutral position so you're not going to see a whole lot of difference on this side compared to what we saw on the initial side as far as like the pose or difference in detail but you can see as we just kind of look over the figure that toes down there really far but as we look over the figure you can again see how incredibly cool the detailing looks how high quality it looks and how precise the paintwork is yet again just again perfection i would say it absolutely is and then we also have the wound cover here which you can place on the back of our ultimasaurus and wow that goes on really nice and smoothly as well like i'm super impressed with that aspect of the figure as well like you can see there is just no difficulty at all when it comes to applying that it just goes on so nicely and if we turn it around and take a look at it, what it looks like from the opposing side you can see it sits on there perfectly 
absolutely zero issues with that fitting on there at all super smooth as far as that goes as well so if you are in the market for an ultimasaurus you definitely need to grab this because this is actually going to be going up for sale on friday so it'll be going up for sale tomorrow and uh there's a very limited number right now there's only going to be 25 of these it's going to sell out very quickly so if you are interested in grabbing one of these for yourself i highly recommend being online on Sirit Tech's Instagram account where he is going to post the link in his story directly to this at 6 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. So again, you can grab this before it sells out and you can own yourself this masterpiece. Another thing I'm really impressed with when it comes to this figure is how good the uh, balance is. Like it balances really nicely. You can see I can move it around and everything and it does not have any issues as far as standing goes. That is going nowhere. But as far as the size goes, it's definitely an impressive size for a length from the horn to the tip of the tail. You are looking at right around or just shy of about 15 and a half inches or right around 39 and a half centimeters. And then for a height to the top of the frill, about nine inches or 23 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon. And actually, I would say that this should probably be back a little further. And uh, kind of the same thing for the Papo T-Rex. I'm not sure where a good spot would be for him. Let's move this a little bit over here. Slide him in right there. So that should give you a better idea, I think, as far as what the size is of the Ultimasaurus. You can really see it's got a very big, very impressive size overall. And uh, again, absolutely impressive in every aspect, but you can now see it's definitely very impressive in the size department. And then in potentially the most impressive comparison I can give you guys, we have the Siret Tech Ultimasaurus compared here with a direct scan of the original Ultimasaurus prototype. And uh, you can see basically what the difference here is between the two. And you can see that they are, you know, slightly different. But at the same time, I honestly can say looking at these two together, look at how impressive this Siratech version is. Like when you look at the difference between the two figures, they're just so amazing here standing next to each other. But I really feel like the Siratech version, again, just has almost like a presence to it it's just so unreasonably impressive here the quality of the print the quality of the paint everything is just so unreasonably good on this Sirit Tech version I could probably go on about it for days but it is still really cool to see the differences here between again what I've been told is a direct scan of the original Ultimasaurus prototype and the brand new incredible Sirit Tech version and if we actually turn this one around I have a little stand over there to hold it up because it actually doesn't really like to stand too well but if we place them here in front of each other you can see again if we can actually stand this one up because like I said it doesn't like to stand you can see that the Stereotech version is definitely larger absolutely has more body mass is taller definitely a bit longer but still has that same general style like the same kind of curve to the tail so you can really see how good of a job Stereotech did when it comes to replicating the original prototype like he's got the positioning of the hands and everything perfect he's got the positioning of the feet perfect even the slight tilt to the ankle and uh, again the positioning of the head and neck but he's also added in again a little bit of his own flair a little bit of his own artistic liberties to create in my opinion the absolute ultimate version of the ultimasaurus and then for some random comparisons, we've got a Mattel Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus here next to our Siret Tech Ultimasaurus, which you can see that Ultimasaurus could tear those two dinosaurs to shreds if it really wanted to. As well as a comparison next to the Rorivore style Ankylosaurus from Mattel. Again, you've got Bumpy the Ankylosaurus showing you that the Rorivore style figures are definitely quite a bit smaller. And then we've got ourselves a few classic Chaos Effect figures here stepping in for a comparison with the Ultimasaurus. And look at how awesome they look together. It is so stinking cool to see a uh, an Ultimasaurus like this next to some of the other Chaos Effect stuff. Just showing you that they 110% look like they belong together. And then for one more comparison, we have the Mattel Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus next to the Ultimasaurus. And the fact that that Ultimasaurus can easily stare that t-rex in the eyes and not only that but you can see it's actually taller 
is super impressive. Again, really saying quite a bit about the size of this Ultimasaurus. And again, further showing you how impressive the size of this release is from Siratech. So this brand new Sired Tech Ultimasaurus for his Chaos Effect line is unreal. And that is just saying that is not even doing it justice. Like, I can't even begin to tell you when the last time was that I was so impressed with something like this. Because everything about this from the packaging to the final product is amazing. Like really setting the bar I would say when it comes to custom Jurassic Park style releases like this. Because there are a lot of people out there that create kind of custom dinosaurs and stuff. But there are very few that would go to the distance that Siret Tech has gone here to release probably the best possible Ultimasaurus that has ever seen the light of day in my opinion. And if I were actually given a uh, an original Ultimasaurus from Kenner, I would probably say the Siret Tech version looks better. Like I think after we had compared it to the uh, scan of the original one, I just felt like this one, like the overall appearance to it, the bulkiness of the body and the uh, positioning of the eyes, just the appearance just makes it look kind of ferocious and evil. and Again, like I said, a little bit more impressive, I think, than the original unreleased prototype did. He really has knocked this out of the park in a big, big way. The sculpt is phenomenal. As you move through the course of the entire model, you can see again that he really did his homework, really studied that original prototype Ultimasaurus to absolutely perfect the positioning of the body and just really capture the magic of that prototype in the most faithful way possible while still giving it, you know, almost like an upgrade. And uh, again, he's really only altered a few things that he kind of strayed from the original prototype, and that would be like the claw size on the hands and the placement of the eye and I think both of those decisions were definitely good ones because I feel like everything on this again looks even more impressive now with those artistic liberties taken and on top of that again giving it that big kind of bulky feel that big bulky look that it has is also extremely impressive and once you get past the fact that the sculpt again is incredibly impressive and you look at how good the paintwork is, the paintwork is phenomenal on this. As you move through the course of the entire figure, you can just see that Siret Tech took so much time and so much effort to paint this as professionally and perfectly as possible. And that leads me to my next section as far as what I'd like to talk about, and that's how high quality this is. I promise you, when you get this figure in hand, if you do purchase one, and you actually hold it for the first time, I think you're going to be really impressed, because honestly, my mind was blown with how high quality this feels. Just the actual feel of the figure itself feels so high quality, but once you actually start to move the dinosaur around and really try out the articulation, it is so smooth and just works so perfectly, it stays exactly where it should when you move it and it's just so high quality that even the articulation is a cut above the rest when it comes to a release like this. As I said earlier though, this is going to be a very limited release as there will only be 25 available right away. Now there may be at some point another 25-ish in the future according to what Siratech has told me, but that isn't a guarantee. As of right now, the limited edition number is only 25, which means there aren't a whole lot to grab. So if you are interested, like I said, you absolutely need to be ready to go to grab this when it does go up for sale. Now, as far as that information goes, the cost of this is 300 US dollars plus tax and shipping. As I said, 25 units available. There will only be a limit of two figures per order. And this will go up for sale on Etsy, on the Etsy shop of Siret Tech on Friday, July 14th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the best way, again, to get a hold of one, of course, is to be following the Etsy shop of Siret Tech, but also to be following Siret Tech on Instagram because at 6 o'clock p.m. on Friday, he will post a direct link in his story to the listing where you can grab this. And with a figure this impressive, you really, really need to be there. Be ready to go because I can imagine it's probably going to sell out nearly instantly. So as always, I will include a link in the description to where you can go ahead, check out 
out Siratex Etsy shop, check out Siratex Instagram, follow both of those. Make sure you are ready tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Grab yourself this absolutely unbelievable Ultimasaurus, the centerpiece of any collection. If you are lucky enough to grab one, get it, add it to your collection. Make sure you check those links in the description and also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.